hello guys welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to teach you how you can create activate and restrict google api key for your projects today i have two projects that we are going to use for this demonstration the first project is a logistic website that i have created for one of my clients okay you can see it's looking very professional and i use free themes and free plugins for this logistic website as you can see if I click on track package and I enter the tracking number and I click on track results. So if I scroll down, I want to see the location of the package on a map. Okay. But as you can see, the map is not working because I have not integrated Google API key. Okay. The second project I'm having here is a real estate website. Okay. It's a demo website from House Team. Okay. If I scroll down to the properties and I click on one of the properties, and I want to see the location of this property on a map. So if I click on this map icon, you can see that the map is not working properly because I have not integrated Google API key. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel so that you receive latest videos. Let's get started. So open your favorite browser. Mine is Chrome. Okay. I'm going to open a new tab here and I'm going to type this console.cloud.google.com. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Okay. So I'm going to hit enter. So we are asked to enter our email. Okay. So I'm going to copy my email from here and I'm going to hit on next. So the next thing we are going to do is to enter our password. So let me copy my password from my notepad and I'm going to paste my password here and I'm going to hit on next. So the next thing I'm going to do is to agree to the terms of this platform. Okay. So click on this and let's check this and click on agree and continue make sure you select your country okay i'm from ghana so my the ghana here is correct so i'm going to click on agree and continue okay so this is the dashboard of um, google cloud okay so the next thing you are going to do is to create a project okay so what we are going to do is to come here click on this arrow and you see new project here so click on new projects so I'm going to give a name to my project, okay? So you can give any name at all to your project, okay? So I'm going to name it Map API Key 1. So this is my project name. So the next I'm going to do is to click on Create. My project has been created successfully, as you can see it here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to click on this arrow here and select my project okay so this is my project so the next thing we are going to do is to activate our account okay? the google api key is not all that free okay if you have not activated your account the key will not work okay so what i'm going to do is to come to these three lines here so click on it and click on billing so this project has no billing account okay so we must create one so what we are going to do is to click on link a billing account so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to click on create billing account make sure you select your country and click on agree and continue so this is where you enter your billing info okay so make sure you fill in this form so i'm going to change this one to individual and i'm going to enter my address okay i'm going to enter my city and the phone number is optional so you can leave it okay the next thing we are going to do is to enter our credit card details so click here and i'm going to enter my credit card details okay so make sure you enter your card holder name okay so i'm going to enter my name here so the next thing I'm going to do is to click on start free. 
Okay, so click on start free. My account has been successfully activated. You can see it here. So follow the process by entering your your credit card information, your billing information. Then you click on start free. Okay, then you'll be brought here. So you can see my account has been activated okay so what we are going to do now is to go to these three lines here and click on it hover on apis and services and click on library scroll down and you see maps okay click on maps we have about 23 map api okay but we are going to enable only six of them okay so the first one we are going to enable is called geocoding api okay this one so i'm going to open it in a new tab the second one is places api okay this one Open it a new tab. We have another place API new. Okay, where is it? It's here. Places API new. Directions API. Maps JavaScript API. Then the last one geolocation api is here so we are going to enable about six of this map api okay so the first one is the geocoding the second one is police api the third one is places api new we have places api and we have places api new we have direction api we have maps javascript api and then the last one geolocation api they are about six okay so let me start to enable them okay so let me start from um geocoding let me go and enable it so click on enable so let's go and enable places api Places API new, Direction API, Maps JavaScript API, and Geolocation API. As I, you can see, they are all enabled. So the next thing we are going to do is to go to the three dots again, hover on APIs and Services click on credentials so we are going to create a new credential okay so click on create credentials and click on api key okay so this is our api key so the next thing we are going to do is to restrict the api key so what i'm going to do is to come here and click on edit api key so click here so I'm generating this API key for this website only, okay? So what we are going to do is that I'm going to give a name to this API key. So I'm going to write logistic. So the next I'm going to do is to click on websites, okay? Then I'm going to come down and click on add. So this is where we add the, the domain name. So go to the websites, copy the, the domain name. And I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to delete the HTTPS, okay? And I'm going to clean this slash too. So the next I'm going to do is to click on done. So you can see that the website is here, okay? So the next I'm going to do is to click on save. Okay, so as you can see, this is the API key we have for this logistic website. So because we have restricted this API key, we can only use it on this website, okay? 
So if I want to use um, an API key on the second website, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create another credentials for this um, website, okay? So let us test this API key to see if it is really working, okay? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to log in to the back end of this website so that I'll add the API key. So let me log in to the back end of this website. So I'm at the back end of this website, this logistic website. So the next I'm going to do is to hover on WP Cargo and click on Map Settings. So this is where I'm going to paste the API key, okay? okay so let us go to the Google Cloud Platform and copy the API key, okay? So this is for the logistic website. So I'm going to come here, click on Show Key, I'm going to copy the key, okay? Go to the logistic website and paste the key. So the next thing I'm going to do is to click on save map setting. As you can see, our map is working, okay? So now if I go to the front page, And I click on track package. And I enter my tracking number. The location of the package must now show on a Google map. Okay, you can see the package here, and then this is the location of the package. Okay, as I said, this key cannot be used on any other website apart from this because I have restricted the key. So if I copy this key and I send it to this website, it will never work. Okay, so what we are going to do is that I'm going to generate another key for this website okay so let's go to the um, google cloud platform let me close here so to generate another key you don't need to create any project again click on these three lines here and over on apis and services okay and click on don't go to library you just go directly to credentials so we are just going to create another credentials, okay? Then click on API keys. What it means is that you only need one project, okay? And under one project, you can generate a lot of um, keys through the credentials, okay? So this way, I don't need to create any project again. I will just go to um, APIs and services and click on create credentials and I'll click on keys, okay? Then I'm here. So the next I'm going to do is to to click on edit API key. You can see that we are still under uh, one project, which is the map API key one. Okay. So this one I'm going to write. So I'm going to write real estate. So I'm going to use it on websites. Click on add, go to the website, copy the URL. Paste the domain name here or the URL here and click on done. Okay, you can see that is here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to click on save. Okay, as simple as that. Our key has been created. Okay, you can see that the symbol here is green. Okay, so it has been created for us. So the next thing we are going to do is to copy the, the key and go and paste it. Um, in your projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to the back end of this website. So let me quickly do that. So I'm at the back end of this website, okay? So I'm going to click on theme options. Then I'm going to scroll down and go to 
map settings. So this is where I'm going to add my API key. So let me delete the old one that is not working. Go to the, the Google Cloud Platform. And I'm going to click on Show Key. And I'm going to copy the API key. Go to the back end of this website and come and paste the key here. Click on Save Changes. So let me go to the front end and check if the map is working for the properties. So I'm going to click here. Let me scroll down and choose any of the properties. I'm going to select this one. So I'm going to click on this map icon to see if the map for this property will work. Okay, so click on this map icon. As you can see, the map is perfectly working. Okay. So this is how we create, activate, and restrict Google Map API keys for our project, okay? If you have any question or suggestion or any comment for me, drop it in the comment section so that I can answer you. And if you need these logistic websites, you can also contact me so that I will design it for you, okay? Thank you very much for watching this video.